Hey everyone, back again with you today. Got another video to share with you. This one is going to be covering a watch winder that I purchased. As uh, some of you might know, I have a lot of automatic watches. Kind of got away from using batteries because uh, the lack of use and just uh, having to replace batteries every now and again was kind of getting to me. So my most recent watches uh, I've been automatic and if you'd like to go ahead and check the watches out feel free to uh, jump out to my channel. I have a review on most of my watches out there. Um, but I needed a, a real good watch winder solution and uh, after doing a, a little bit of research I, I come to realize that most good watch winders out there that got excellent reviews were going to be in the two to three hundred dollar range. Um, really was a little bit more than I wanted to spend so kind of kept my budget around the sixty dollar mark and I wanted to know I did know for sure that I wanted a, a double watch winder well Amazon offered this one it's by Diplomat and I believe there's another company that makes one almost identical to it um, but it's a watch winder it's an automatic there as you can see here's the box um, it ran about sixty dollars or I'm sorry fifty three dollars so a little under sixty dollars and it had pretty decent reviews, if I remember correctly. Um, most people had given it a four, four to five star reviews on it and didn't have many complaints regarding uh, the operation and the quality of the unit. So I uh, went ahead and purchased this. As you can see, uh, some of the features include rotation switch keys um, by operation, meaning clockwise or counterclockwise. I think what they mean by auto is it goes both directions, one way and then uh, another way the other time. Uh, it does have a timer function. As you can see, it's got a few different options. Auto rotate 33 seconds, rest 12 minutes. Auto rotate 10 minutes, rest 90 minutes. Auto rotate 30 minutes, rest 3 hours. And auto rotate 1 hour, rest 3 hours. And it is uh, power, uh, powered by an AC adapter, so you don't have to worry about batteries with this thing at all. Um, as I mentioned, it, it looks like it's a pretty decent watch winder. It got pretty good reviews, so I'm hoping that it ends up be working uh, the way that I'm expecting. It came with uh, just a couple instructions. This one is the instruction manual for the watch winder. Kind of gives you a little bit more in detail on how to, uh, you know, set it for the appropriate settings on the watch that you're using, um, and then just the uh, instructions on how to place your watch in the watch winder itself. Um, it did come with two little pads, and actually I'll, I'll stop it here. I'll turn it around. This is the actual winder itself. As you can see, it's got the diplomat tag on the bottom. I got uh, one of my tungsten crotons in there and my uh, tungsten Swiss legend in there and they're both turning right now. Uh, mainly put them in there real quick uh, for a, an example of, of how it would work and um, kind of touch bases as well as the sound that it makes. I, a lot of the complaints that came from this was the sound was a little bit louder than people expected and uh, if you, I guess you leave it in a bedroom that would be uh, definitely something you'd want to consider when purchasing one of these. Uh, before we take a look at the inside, we'll go ahead and flip it around here and we'll take a look at the back. And it does have pretty nice colors as you can see here. It's uh, silver on the front and it's got a nice dark case to it, dark black case to it. Uh, let's see if we can get enough light here for you. Uh, as you can see, it's got uh, the on-off switch towards the top there. Uh, I believe the uh, bottom left switch there is going to be uh, the counterclockwise and the clockwise uh, options. And then over to the right, I believe, is the four different settings as far as the timing that's involved with how many rotations, etc. Uh, so pretty minimal. It's got a nice power AC adapter, as you can see there. Um, nothing too out of the ordinary for a watch winder, I guess. Most of what I've seen are pretty similar to that. So um, What I'll do is I'll go to open the front door here and we'll take a look. I do have two of my heaviest watches on there, as you can see. And... Uh, what I'm going to do is just kind of show you the sound that it does make. I, I did read about this in the reviews from heavier watches. The rotation isn't bad, the sound, as far as that's concerned. But every now and again, you'll hear the watch dropping or the mechanism clicking in there due to the weight of the watch. Uh, it doesn't seem like it's affecting or touching the watch in any way, so don't think it's going to be a huge deal. I plan on using this in my office, not my bedroom, so the noise isn't going to be an issue, hopefully. Uh, so we'll go ahead and see if you can hear that so you might be able to see that and even hear that uh, just like a minor clicking sound doesn't seem to be too major so hopefully everything holds out there doesn't get too loud 
Uh, if it does, obviously I'll post some updates in the description, but um, seems like it's going to work pretty well. I got, I got high hopes for it at least. Alright guys, so I'll quickly show you how to take this watch out. Just like uh, other watch winders, you just kind of pinch from both sides uh, on the appropriate sides and pull the whole unit out from the socket. I don't know if you're going to be able to see in there. Um, but the watch just sits essentially on a little pad here, as you can see, a plastic pad. And uh, normally what you'd want to do is depress this pad a little bit so you're able to release your watch band and uh, make it a little easier but since I have one hand I'll just go ahead and show you here there you go take out the pad it's nice about this watch winder is it does come with an additional large pad for large face watches and then you just have the original um, watch winder here that you can use for um, smaller watches or average size watches I guess so kind of a nice feature comes with this all my watches have large faces and are heavier so I'm sure this definitely assists in accommodating that uh, that's pretty much it guys uh, if you have any questions feel free to let me know otherwise I hope this helps you out and uh, appreciate it thanks a lot